That's right. They call me Possum Tater. Ain't no fooling around with that. <laughs> I tell you. All right. Welcome back to episode, uh, I guess we're up to number four now. And today I'm going to show you how we wired up the little cabin for solar. Including how I wired up just regular light switches that you can get at the hardware store for a two by a little jiggy. So, uh, we can just, uh, I'm gonna show you how I wired those up. And I'm gonna show you how I wired up the, the little, uh, solar area on the back of the cabin. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I used for and with that 14 gauge wire. So I'll touch more on that later in the, in this episode. So I hope this helps you when you're wiring up your little cabin so we can have a good old time with our family and friends and for free because the solar is where it is at when you want free. I just can't believe how good it works. So anyway, um, if I can get these kids to get so many things around here, I'll tell you, you know, help me out around here, people, you know. I would. So anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you how I wired the back of the cabin. All right. <laughs> depending on where you're from. You've got all those wires hanging down in the back where you got the plywood at, where you're gonna put a hole to run out to the panels and whatnot. But you got all those wires hanging down and uh, where you put your switches, wherever you put these switches, let's say on ours is by the door, this wire runs over around and it comes out at a little blue outlet box, all right? So that's where you're gonna put this switch in. Now, a lot of people don't realize that you can use just a regular old switch for 12 volts. Yup, yup, that's right. And the difference with these is you don't use the ground here, the little green screw, you don't use the ground. What you'll need to do is run red to red and then just, I forget what you call it, but connect the black to black. It, the black doesn't go through the switch. So uh, this is how I do it. I, uh, I've got one of these really cool stripping tools that actually cuts it and strips it. And it's got different sizes right there. I guess the black on black is hard to see, but <laughs> I'll tell you what. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you how it works. Put it in there, something like that, and you just squeeze it. And you see how that, you see how that did that right there? Now, the one thing about 12 volt wire is it's got a bunch of strands and that helps the conductivity of it with has less resistance so anyway what you do is you just twist that end on up do the other side something like that man that thing works good don't it you can get these down you can get these down you know, amazon link something down there you can, you can go look at <laughs> I'll put that down there for you. <laughs> now, some people will take these little cable ends. I don't know what they're called, but if you look at it, it like it looks like a little fork. But that allows you to screw it on in there on both sides. So if you were going to use these clamps, all you do is you put that baby right on on there like that. Twist it on in there, get it as far as you can. And then you, well, it didn't go in hardly at all. <laughs> I don't know. 
know what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyway, you put that on there and you can take some pliers or something and you just clamp it on the end. And then you screw it on inside of this. So I'll just, you know, I'm just going to screw it. A lot of people, some people solder, use a soldering gun and solder the wire in there. But I'll go ahead and just uh, put this together. Let me, uh, I forgot my screwdriver. Hold on a second. I don't reckon I know where I, what I did with it. Is it a Phillips or a straight edge? Well, it's both. Straight edge and a Phillips. All right. Now, like I said, some people solder it in. Some people, you know, just put it in here. Now, they also have little things you can just poke it in the back. You can do that too, and you don't need nothing. But being that this is small strands of cable, sometimes it's a little difficult. But I like doing things difficult because I'm possum tater. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. <coughs> All right, let's just put that baby on in there. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you what, it's 14. They, oh my goodness. I, yeah, I'm having a little trouble. That's why you use these little cable things for that very reason. You just put that baby on in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this in there. I mean, this is just for your information anyway, so it don't matter if I don't get it on there just right. But anyway, let's just go ahead and that in there and I'm gonna tighten it down pretty tight all right there we go it's in there good enough so you get the idea now I'm gonna set that down on this side now get your other piece of wire now this wire is running to the actual light and all this does all this switch does is this it's gonna cut off the voltage from the red wire it turns off your light so this wire is going to go to your light that's right the light go ahead and do that again on the other end and you whoops i didn't get it that time there we go so anyway what you want to do is go ahead them strands, I'll tell you what, them strands will get you. Better watch out, it'll get you. But what you want to do is you're wanting to put the red on the other side, like this. All right. Tighten that baby down on in there. All right, so now you got the red. This wire, this wire up here is coming from the ceiling and over to the back of the cabin where the fuse panel is going to go. This wire is going to the light. So you don't put the black wire anywhere on this. What you would do is you just put a little, I don't know what you call them, a cable nut. And you just put that on in there like that. And there you go. You see, that's how you wire a solar switch using the 14 wire, 14 gauge wire, and then going back to the other side where that piece of plywood was. So you would basically do this same thing on the light. You go into the hot, which is usually black, and then the neutral would, of course, be ground, which would be the black. And that's a good thing about working with this wire. It's always black or it's always red. Red is the power. Black is the ground. But this wire will, the black wire will eventually go all the way to the battery and ground at the battery. Whereas the red wire, just like on your car, is going to run all the way 
too, unless it's going through a switch like this one right here. It'll go all the way back to the battery as well. And the one good thing about working this is that it's either it works or it don't. When I, when I was doing the light, one of the lights, I was, uh, it wouldn't, the light wouldn't turn on. I'm going, well, what's going on here? I just, do, 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 do. So then all I did was switch the wire on the light and it worked like a charm. And that's the one thing about DC or AC or I don't even know, AC, DC. Hey, I like AC, DC. <laughs> I'll tell you what. But anyway, you'll be good to go just using a regular old switch like that. Now, I hope this video helped you. I hope it didn't make you more confused after you got here, but uh, this is something I wanted to show you as well. I didn't use this on uh, this little fuse. It's an inline fuse holder, and I didn't use this because I'd used a better one that's on the circuit board in the back of the cabin, and then I'm going to show you that here in a little bit. So anyway, uh, let's go look and see how I wired up the solar stuff, and uh, we'll get back at you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my fathers! I better go get a throat lozenge or some coffee or something. I think Okay, now looking back at the back of the cabin here, you're gonna see that little piece of plywood that we put in and some objects that are attached to that plywood. Now this plywood is in between two two by fours that's in that was built into the cabin there and I just mounted that plywood up in there so we would have something to bolt all the little pieces to. Now at the very top you're gonna see all those wires that came down from the lights and the 12 volt uh, plugs, you know, so you can get power from. It's like a cigarette hole. <laughs> anyway, all those wires come down, and you can see some of those wires I actually marked on the wire itself light one, light two, uh, outlet one, outlet two, but I only needed six things i had three lights and three outlets so if you look at the very top right you can see i hooked all the black wires to a mini bus bar and i hooked all the ground to that bar and then in the middle there you're gonna see a fuse panel now that fuse panel is made for automobiles and since I only needed six, you'll notice once again, it's only made for six. Now, if I ever needed to add anything to this, I could just switch that out and put another fuse panel in there with eight or 12 or how many I needed. But this cabin is really small, so all I needed was six. And, you know, the lights are very they don't use very much electricity and i think i've got uh, let's see here i think i got 10 and 15 amp fuses in there and if you notice below that is like a little switch and that switch is actually an automotive circuit breaker and that will run straight to the battery but you'll notice that circuit breaker goes up to the fuse panel and all the red wires are connected to that fuse panel and they go to the lights and outlets. So that's basically wiring of the cabin for solar. And uh, later on, we're going to test this. I'm going to hook it up to a battery. I found over at Harbor Freight, I found a, a battery that was just about 60 bucks that I wanted to test the system and see if it worked. Now, I don't have any solar panels yet, but I will. But I want to just make sure that everything works. So I'm going to hook a battery up to it and use some wires. Now, all this stuff that I used here, the little uh, ground mini bus there, 
I got that at Amazon, and I'll send. A, I'll show you a link down in the description. Also, in the middle there, I don't think I bought this fuse panel on Amazon, but I'm going to link something down below what would be just like it. And then the circuit breaker down there, I'll also post a link to that as well. And some of that um, higher uh, grade wire down there that's going to hook to the battery and that I had to cut a piece off right there in the middle. You see that little red wire right down in between the fuse. I had to clamp some ends on that, some cable ends on there, just so it would clean everything up. So you can see all the cables got those little clamped ends on it. Just made things a little easier to put in there and screw on in. So uh, let's get on and look at the uh let's go ahead and test these lights with the battery let me go ahead and hook this up now if you look here you'll see where i hooked up the black and red wires to the battery to test the lights now i realize this picture is later on after i finished some of the paneling around it but i just wanted to show you how i had the the positive side hooked in to that little circuit breaker and then I got the negative side going up to that little mini bus for the ground. So that's how we tested the batteries. Let's go see how it looks. Well, there you go. There they are. Looks pretty good, don't it? <laughs> I like the barn style lights and they're cheap too. <laughs> I got a little bit more insulation done, you'll see. And, but like I said, I wanted to test the lights with the battery and, and include it in this episode just so you can see how I hooked up the solar stuff. So anyway, I, this picture is before I finished insulation. All right, looks good. Okay, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, until next time on Possum Tater, I think the next episode we're going to show how we... Uh, actually put up the paneling in the little cabin there and what kind of tools we use for that but uh but anyway we'll see you next time on possum tater you take care now you hear <laughs> i tell you i tell you what <laughs>